YouTube. Today we're gonna do something different. So it's currently 9.30 a.m. and I have two spots that didn't get filled. Actually three spots, that's like three hours of time. So I'm not finna sit around. So I'm gonna go look for a client to cut their hair at the studio. We're gonna try and find someone, get them a cut, change their life. I'm looking for someone with really long hair. So yeah, let's do it. walking up i'm gonna get out the car i'm not gonna roll up on him in the car probably not gonna record me talking to him just because i don't want him to be scared but yeah let's do it okay so i just met him what's your name bobby bobby <laughs> my name is ken hey i cut in that building over there okay you're yeah, willing can... to let me do a haircut most definitely you? most definitely okay. yeah, yeah, yeah i need one <laughs> okay need, okay one, so. cool youtube what's good it's the fourth ken and i'm back with another video as you can see, it was just a spur of the moment type thing. Um, he was a couple blocks away from my studio. So I seen him, I tracked him down. I was like, look, if you want a free haircut, I got you. So we're going to start off by wetting his hair. We are going to wash it after we initially snip it down. But right now I'm just roughly cutting it. I'm not really sectioning it off or anything. I'm just snipping away to cut the dead ends of his hair. Um, he had a lot of hair. He didn't get a haircut for a very long time. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get him right. We're gonna clean his hair. And what I'm thinking with this haircut, my initial thoughts were to just keep it dark on the sides and fade out the back. Um, this is an important step that you wanna take. I'm washing his hair, getting it nice and clean. I washed it like three times. It was just very knotted. Even though his hair was straight, it was very knotted. Uh, he just needed it to be washed, you know? Um, also, after I wash it, I am gonna add some conditioner to it. That's really gonna loosen up his, his hair strands. Um, now we're gonna shape it. We're trying to get that square silhouette. Basically just gonna go for a simple brush back with a number four on the sides. So I'm blow drying his hair back. I wet I wet his hair a few times throughout this haircut. Um, it was a simple haircut. I thought it would be more difficult, but it was really simple and easy. So I have my foreguard on my ergos. And I'm basically going up in the shape of like a drop fade. And he has the ideal texture for this haircut too. You guys will see what I mean. But his hair, his hair cuts like butter. Like it's very easy to cut. Um, the scissor part's a little more tricky. So now we're gonna do some clip over comb. This was the part where it pretty much faded like butter. The highest card I used was a four, which is insane. I faded this all with just clip over comb. So you guys are gonna see me completely just shred through this clip over comb. Notice how I'm holding my comb. I flip it back towards me a little bit. You don't want to go completely straight up with the comb. You want to kind of tilt it back towards you so that you get that nice silhouette cut. And just notice how I'm combing his hair after I clip it so that it falls back into its natural state. You don't want to do clip over comb without combing it back into place. Otherwise, when you do comb it or brush it back into place, the shape is way off. So as you can see, the shape is already coming together that easily. Um, I'm holding my clipper at an angle. And yeah, his name was Bobby, man. He was a nice individual. He has a good heart, man. Like, it, this was just a spur of the moment activity. I didn't have any clients. Um, I cut in a low income area, so. I just wanted to bless somebody today. It was very spur of the moment. It was just random, but I'm glad I did it. I met my boy, Bobby. I really appreciate him for letting me record. And we're finishing up with the clip over comb. And as you can see, the shape is, is very, very good. There's still some bulk towards the top. We will get it later. We're just gonna get that brush, brushed back shape right now. And now I have my thinning shears. We're gonna quickly fade out the back I have many videos teaching you how to do this. I'm gonna 
try and keep it lower in the back. And the reason why I didn't fade him is because not everyone looks good with a fade. I don't think he would have looked good with a fade. Um, especially someone who's woofing. You don't know if they have scout problems. Like you, you don't know. So it's safe to not go with a fade. Now, if I cut him again in the future, then we could discuss a fade. But when you cut someone that was woofing for this long, like it looked like he didn't have a haircut in a year. So when you when you cut someone who's woofing that badly, you don't want to fade them. They could have dry patches in your scalp. You just never know. So right now we're shaping up the back of his neck. And he told me he basically wanted me to shave off his beard. So I said, okay, cool. And he said his mustache too. So just to get him clean shaven, a fresh start for him, a fresh start for my boy Bobby. So I told him to lift his neck up while we get all that under there. And we're not gonna do a shape up in the front just because it would look ridiculous, quite frankly. Um, I don't really like seeing haircuts like that with white people with slick backs and then they have a super, super sharp shape up. It just looks ridiculous to me. Um, some people, some white people do look good with a shape up in the front, but we're just doing the C cups. As you can see, that's sharp, no enhancements too. And then we're gonna get around his ear to establish that nice, shape up that nice curve around his ear and like i said before this is just a foreguard on the sides it's a very simple haircut it's easy that's what i envisioned as soon as i seen him on the street i envisioned like you know for just just get him cleaned up you know get him cleaned up get him you know make him gain his confidence back so right now we're re-wetting the hair we're saturating the hair again we're just going to even it out a little bit and we're gonna use our thinning shears on that side. And now we're gonna brush his hair back. Now that our shape is established, and as you can see, that's already looking fire. There's no taper on the sides, just a taper in the back. And as you can see, just a, a simple haircut like this can go a very, very long way. He looks like a completely different person. We're gonna put some mold in his hair. This is actually a paste a clay paste and we're gonna comb it back and as you can see that's fire we completely changed his life completely just with a haircut so this is how my client came in and this is how he's leaving the studio make sure you like comment subscribe follow me on instagram and shout out Bobby, man. Shout out Bobby. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, share this video. And as yeah. you can see, he was happy. Appreciate you, bro. I'm out. Peace.